Hi Leo, welcome to your week ahead reading. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below, including the recommend a reader shout out, which goes to Baccarat Tarot. Love and support to her, check her out, show her some love. This is an all encompassing reading. Um, so it's gonna take a look at everything, whatever shows up, that's what we're going with. It's for the week of April 12th through the 18th. So could be on everything, could just be on one thing, whatever's going to feature here. All right, Leo. Queen of Pentacles, good for you. <clears throat> could be male or female, that could be Capricorn. <clears throat> Three of Wands, let's see. The Emperor, that could be Aries. The Hierophant, that could be Taurus. Temperance, um, Sagittarius. Four of Wands, yay, so four here. Four and five. <laughs> Three, four, five. Uh -huh. Look at that. Ten of wands. Busy, busy, busy. All right. What do we got here? This is three of wands, about four. Leo. So things are stable. You're worried they're gonna leave though. You're 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 worried about um is it worry or is it just there's prescience? What are you are you being wanting to stay on top of things and be prepared? What is it? What's this three of wands? Leo. What's this three of wands about? Leo. Knight of Pentacles, that could be Taurus, doesn't have to be. What's this emperor about? Four of pentacles. I just feel like it's all crooked. All right, four of pentacles. Hmm. So there's your, you're worried and waiting and maintaining. Worry, wait, maintain, lather, rinse, repeat. Worry, wait, maintain, lather, rinse, repeat. So you're on top of things, but you're worried about the status of things. What's this hierophant about? What's this hierophant about? Okay. Um, the hangman, that could be Pisces. What's his temperance about? Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> Good, have faith. It's this four of wands. You're good at that, so that's I'm not asking too much of you. To, it's honestly like I don't mind saying that because I feel like you can handle that. <laughs> Calling on that optimistic spirit of yours. Um, page of wands. Okay, so you are in a holding or a waiting pattern, and it's going to your job is to not do anything. Your job is to stay the course. Don't do anything different. This is a week of pretty much all is quiet on the western front, or that comes from a movie. I, I can't remember what it is it's probably a western or something but anyway this is you keeping things stable and calm but in the back of your mind there's like this little kind of like uh, restlessness or worry but good for you for not doing anything about it you don't need to do anything about it you're just it's almost like getting kind of exasperated with the way things are like kind of tired and like okay when's this going to change um, because this is kind of a new normal for all of us but this is you things are Things are okay, things are quiet and things are calm. And this is you holding vigil. This is you standing, you know, being diligent and, and maintaining and staying the course, but you're kind of on high alert. I think that's more about you and your personality than it is your need to be, but it feels like you really wanna preserve how everything's have been. You really wanna carry that into next week and you do, but you're not gonna be any less alert, any less, any less alert for it. So it's kind of a you thing that like a personality thing that for the Leos I'm reading for, you're really, um, there's a lot of uh, vigilance here this week. What's this? What's this 10 of wands here? Two of pentacles. So, all right. Your financial situation, 
look at all these. You're worried about it. It's stable, but you're worried about it. So are, it, the thing is, are you going to be finding out that things are changing? Are you waiting to hear what the changes are? Has that, has that been what's happened? Is that you've heard about changes, things are stable for now, but they haven't really taken shape or form yet. So now you're like, okay, what are the changes? Whatever those are, um, you still, they haven't been fleshed out fully. So you're kind of in this holding pattern. So that would explain the, the vigilance or being diligent about conserving. Things are stable, but there's this worry about keeping it stable. And I think it's based on a decision from either your employer or waiting for some money to come in. When's it gonna come in? How's it gonna come in? Like, what are the conditions for it? There's, there's money and you're worried about being able to have access to it or consistency with it. So I don't know if your work schedule is changing or if they're figuring out how to pay you from working from home or what's going on, but the money is there, but there's a concern about you being able to maintain or continue to have that. So, it, and I say there's a concern, it's because it's your concern. It's not going anywhere. This is a you thing. So for the Leos I'm reading for, it's like you're kind of predisposed to concern or worry, and that's not a slam. It's a personality thing I'm reading here. Um, this is money being there, being figured out. You are considered and regarded and valued. You're not going to be overlooked. You're not going to be denied. But there's a concern that you are. Whatever situation it is, you're you're worried that you're if you don't stay on top of it, you're not going to be able to get to it or have access to it. So that would make sense. Um, and I personally don't like it when people say, oh, relax, it's fine. Unless that comes with a why, you know what I mean? And I don't have the why, I just know that it's there, but you're feeling like that's not good enough. I really need to stay on top of this. So do it. The, what, what can it hurt? Honestly, what else are we gonna do right now? If you wanna flesh something out and find out answers, do it. If it's gonna make you feel better, do it. It's, you know, what, what else are we going to do right now? <laughs> and I will say that it's there. So it's not leaving. It's coming to you. It's just, it feels like you're worried about it. All right. What else? Why are you? It's, yeah. There, okay. There's eight of swords. Why? Why are you worried about it? What's the worry? Oh, because you're at home. This is it. the <laughs> shelter in place. There it is. So what is it just that you're, like, you know what? I really want to be out there doing things. This, at being, having to be at home, argh, you know? What's this Eight of Swords about for Leo? Yep, because things have changed. Okay. Things have changed. Okay, worst case scenario for some of you. Some of you might be like, shoot, it's a blessing in disguise. But this could be um, job loss or job being laid off for right now. Like a temporary, this is a temporary disruption for right now. Things have shifted and are changed right now. It's causing a lot of stress and worry. The thing is, it's still, you're not going to be just discarded. You're going to be provided for and you're going to be um, helped and supported. You just don't know how yet. And that's probably why in light of this right here, that's probably why there's this diligence or um, wanting to stay vigilant, wanting to waiting to hear so I can plan. What's the plan? What's going to happen? You're wanting answers and they don't know yet. So that means you don't know yet. The answers are coming. The money is there. You need to have faith. This is sort of a reset and you're going to be doing things differently from here forward, but it's not going to be based on lack. It's going to be based on difference. Like, okay, yeah, you're still getting paid, but you're going to be at home or we're going to have you do this from home instead. Your, your job description or your duties are going to change, but the money and the stability is there. The worry is there also for you. So that's, it shows you worried here. Wanting to take control of that stability and maintain it. And the, whatever you're doing um, for, for money or for job, whatever, it's in transition. And nobody knows it's a learning curve and you're kind of just going with the flow, but you do want answers. Understandably so. Who wouldn't? That's really you. Yeah. I don't even see... Um, Rom romance here like I don't I, I feel like that's on the back burner I don't see romance here okay get it knight of pentacles <laughs> okay so this is um we got two of those so this is that's where your focus is and this is you wanting some answers waiting to hear for that before you can make any kind of changes or moves you're in a holding pattern nothing's changed nothing's in deficit but nothing is in surplus either 
and you're wanting answers so you could plan. Makes sense, honestly. Who wouldn't? What else for the answers? It feels like you might get communication, but you're not gonna get the answers until, it's, it, the answers aren't coming this week. The communication about information is coming, but the answers that you want aren't coming yet. Nothing's gonna have been decided this week, this coming week. So you're, you'll, have, you'll be in communication, you're gonna you know, get some information, but you're still gonna have questions and you're gonna have to wait for those those answers. Things are in a holding pattern right now. What else for Leo? <laughs> Let go and have fun. Yeah, because you kind you don't need to um, be concerned about this to the level that you are. Um, but I don't like it when people say relax, it's fine because you don't know my mind. You don't you know, you don't know my concerns or like, don't tell me that unless you can tell me why it's going to be fine. So otherwise, it's just a thoughtless remark, you know, um, I say, go ahead and do your due diligence because that's, that's what makes you feel better. You're not going to, you want your own answers and you should. So you're going to be vigilant. You can, we got the three of wands here. We got celebration. It's almost like this has been an unexpected reprieve. This sort of, you know, interruption or this sort of like disconnect things changing and shifting has been an unexpected like break. But you still, it's almost like you might have, you know, something celebratory, like a, a glass of wine or something, but your mind's still going to be thinking about like, okay, well now what? And you'll get information and communication about it, but you're not going to get the answers you want this week. You're still going to have those questions. So, and that's fine because that has more to do with you wanting the full picture that can't be given to you right now. Not because someone's withholding from you or because, um, you know, you're going to be, that's not good enough. No, you're just wanting the full picture. This, this is just you doing your due diligence and the answers will come. At, well, they're not coming this week. You might get them next week, but it's this, your company's going through it too. Like everybody's, a, this is an adjustment for everybody. So nobody has any answers yet. This right here though, this could be unexpected blessings right here. This is unexpected new normal that's actually like a serendipity, like quite advantageous to you. It's offering, it's a blessing in disguise. You know what I mean? So at least the reset part of it is the kind of the forced, I want to say isolation, but that's kind of what it is. Like the forced new normal. It's actually going to be something that you might be like, okay, well, wow. All right. I guess we get to do things this way. You're just wanting to know what the parameters are. Because you, you want to maintain this. What else for it, Leo? Okay, so we've got... Well, that was like... that. Okay, how am I supposed... Either way. Either way. This is the Seven of Cups. Yes, disarray, discordant, or like, okay, what, everything's up in the air. Like, who knows what... Some people feel the most comfortable with that because it's like, all right, that takes the obligation off of me. Like, I don't... Nobody knows what's going on, so... I'm off the hook here. I don't have to have the answers right now. Some people find solace in that because nobody knows what's going on. So we're just going to, we're just going to take the night off. We're just not going to worry about it for tonight. You know what I mean? So we've got everything kind of being up in the air and this is six of wands revert, right? Is that six of wands reversed? So this is an interruption and in the steady progress that was being made. Things going along as normal, things progressing that has been put on hold because everything's up in the air right now. And that's probably why you're not, there's not a focus on your room. I mean, this could be about your romantic situation, but this feels like primarily work. And that's all of a sudden your focus has been like, whoop, because that has been called into like, there's been interruption in your work schedule, um, in your job. This could be a temporary layoff. This is a new normal for you that you're wanting to know the parameters of so you can adjust appropriately and you, you can either conserve or like where you want to put your time and your money. Only you don't know what because you don't know what's going to happen yet. So yeah, welcome to a week of you laying low and staying vigilant because you'll get information but not really answers yet. Um, you're not going to be in deficit. There's not a surplus. This is like the status quo being maintained but your mind's going to be on getting answers to be able to start planning for the next stage, your next move, um, a new job. This is a, a holding week. And yet here it says, let go and have fun. Some of you might be like, well, the heck with it then. I'm not going to worry right now. 
Nothing wrong with that either. Because what can you do? I, I have a hard time not knowing. So I, I don't think I'd be very celebratory. But maybe this is saying, yeah, we know you won't be that celebratory. So, you, But you need to be. Everything's going to be fine. Have faith. You're in a holding pattern. You're not going to be put into deficit or plunged into anything that you can't handle. You're going to be valued, considered, and provided for. So let go a little bit. Release the, the, the grip, so to speak. Yeah, I'm, hmm. You do that if that fits you, but no pressure from me because I get that whole, yeah, I'm not having that glass of wine until I figure out what's going on. I get it. Okay, I hope this was helpful. I hope you have a good week, Leo. Um, love and support to you, and you take care and you stay safe out there. Okay, all right. Thank you for stopping by.